Planet Fitness. I parked where it was busy, where people were coming and going. I did that for safety. I hadn't parked in a parking lot. You know, I'm 72 years old. I'm armed. I'm licensed to be armed. I have a license to carry a concealed weapon. But why be unsafe to begin with? I mean, the last thing I'd ever want to do is discharge my firearm, especially at another human being. I mean, that's going to totally, totally change my life if that should ever happen. But the point is this. Even though a little child was curled up on her pillow right there inside the window, and even though cars were pulling up, parking next to her in the next parking space, getting in and out of their vehicle, and I had my seat reclined, which I realized that with my seat reclined, um, my head is where the tinted windows are in the back. So... I can't be seen from the outside. Light coming in the windshield, yes, it does um, somebody could look in the front seat and see because there's light coming in the windshield, which is another thing. I parked under the light because if somebody was going to come around and disturb me, I wanted to see who they were. But people were parking on both sides of us, getting out, going into Walmart, coming out of Walmart, putting their things in their vehicle, and driving away without even looking in our direction. People just aren't that interested to see what's going on in the vehicles parked around them. And that was a valuable lesson. I mean, the first nights, I, I did not sleep at all. Did not sleep at all. Literally up all night. And then I'd go to a park during the day and recline my seat and sleep in the park during the day. Now I've been able to sleep at night and sometimes I've had better sleep at night sitting up in the front seat of my van then I've had all snuggled up in a <laughs> in a bed but I just wanted to show you how in this area remember this is a Fort Lauderdale area people are not camping overnight in Walmart. That doesn't mean you can't park your car quietly sleep in your vehicle and then get up and quietly leave. Now little child gotta get this car washed today. Little child Woke me up, she was thirsty, and then she wanted to go potty. So, that was a little after 4 o'clock. And there's a nice grassy area in the back, so that's where we went. And she did her, did her doo -doo, did her morning constitutional or whatever she did. I wasn't watching her. And, um, because she was on her leash. So I'm like, what shall I have for breakfast? I went through McDonald's, and they've got to buy a sandwich, get one for a dollar, you know, breakfast sandwich. So I asked the gal, oh, is that a... I didn't see it say sausage, egg, and cheese, but it had sausage, egg, and cheese with McGriddle, which I didn't want. Just wanted the biscuit. 
And she said, oh, yes, it is. But that doesn't start for 10 more minutes. <laughs> like, really? She said, yes. I said, I'll, I'll wait. So I'm taking you guys for a little cruise around the plaza. And then we're going to go get a sandwich and my favorite coffee is Dunkin Donut so from here we'll go to the Dunkin Donut but I'm just letting you know if you're just discreet don't put all kinds of stuff all around your windows It's going to be obvious anyway that you're in the vehicle. It's going to draw attention to yourself. You don't need to do that. I mean, if you're doing it for insulation, you're doing it, you know, to keep it cooler in the vehicle or keep it warmer in the vehicle, you know, that's, that's a different objective. But if you're going to do that, don't park where it's obvious that you're in the vehicle. I mean, if you don't want to attract attention, don't create a situation where you're going to get attention. Just like that one vehicle, I don't know how well you could see. Obviously, they were in the back seat because they had towels in and out of the window, like, you know, they draped the towel over the window and then wound the window up on both sides and across the back window. And yet, if they had not put the towels there and they were just laying in the back seat sleeping, most likely I wouldn't have even noticed that, that car. So... Don't call attention to yourself. And most likely nobody's going to disturb you. That's been my personal experience. And we've now been in the van, sleeping, parking lots, um, since November 4th of 2019. I've only been asked to leave one place, which was Walmart, uh, further south in Broward County, down in Hallandale. It was the day before Thanksgiving. And they were having going to have their big sale and their uh, Black Friday and all of that, and they had tons and tons and tons, literally tons of merchandise on pallets all around the store and security came around and asked people to leave now we had already been there all month from November 4th and had seen a lot of people being there no one being disturbed but the night before well, these dudes from had a Colorado tag on their truck and they were pulling a a, um, a little U-Haul behind them. It's called a little U-Haul, you know, like a trailer. And they got out, I couldn't believe it, four big dudes, double cab truck. They pull out lawn chairs, barbecue grill. They sat there had like a tailgate party in the Walmart shopping center left a mess all around them I don't know where they slept if they slept in the U-Haul trailer they were pulling or if they slept in the, the truck I don't know um, there were a lot of people parked along the perimeter I don't know if it was because of the sales coming up 
or if it was just because they'd been very tolerant and there were a lot of vans, a lot of people over 50 years old sleeping in their van, um, not disturbing anybody, you know, spread out. So I don't know if it was prompted by those guys making a mess, <clears throat> but everybody was asked to leave. And of course I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, but the fact still remains. No wandering stranger knocked on my windows. Nobody attempted to break into my vehicle. And of course I have an alarm on a set always on the car. So it would set off the alarm and also I have the fob for the alarm hanging where it's always within my reach. Doesn't matter how I would wake up, the fob is right there. So I can set off the alarm in a split second and I leave the key in the ignition because I'm sitting in the driver's seat. So that's uh, not a problem turning the key and getting away from danger. <clears throat> Would I have chosen this for myself to live in my vehicle? Not like this. It has always been a dream of mine to travel, to teach painting. I'm a teacher. Uh, that's what I've always wanted to do. And of course, I was raising children and that opportunity did not present itself <coughs> to travel. Now I could do that. <coughs> But I don't really, you know, I don't have a camper. I don't have an RV. I'd love to have a road truck because it's self-contained. It's not much bigger than the van I'm currently driving. And uh, I'd like to travel and see the country. I'd like to stop places and teach people how to paint. I'm an artist. I'm a jewelry designer. Hopefully I'm going to be putting lessons on video for you all so you can learn and do some things that will, I'm sure, give you a great deal of pleasure. And anybody can paint. I teach you the techniques. You'll be able to do it. Okay, my 10 minutes has passed. So we're going to go get a sausage, cheese, egg, biscuit. And get another one for a dollar. <clears throat> Am I hungry enough to eat two of them? Probably not. But I'll offer some to the little child. If she wants it, fine. If she doesn't want it, that's okay, too. Um, have a beautiful day. Count your blessings, because there are a lot of them. I mean, look, little child and I made it through the night. Uninjured, unharassed. We have a day, busy day ahead of us. We didn't keep our appointment yesterday. We got sidetracked. So we have all of the appointments to go to today. Anyway, almost out of my 15 minutes of, of fame on YouTube. <laughs> Be grateful. Embrace the joys in your life. Take care. Be well. McDonald's.